Hi everybody, I'm Michael Massey, and it's my great pleasure to invite you down to the south of Phuket for the 2013 Phuket Health and Fitness Festival. I started dancing when I was three years old, I was performing and in a competitive dance company by the time I was eight years old. And for me, movement, like I said, is a form of therapy. It's a self-expression. And so I went from the dance into um, competitive sport of fitness. And to support that lifestyle, I started personal training and then teaching yoga. And then I found myself in gyms and I thought, you know, I want to be out playing in the water. I want to be out um, climbing mountains and getting paid to do what I love in, a, in an environment that is sunny all year round. So that's what brought me to Phuket. I was here two years ago and the ocean had just started and she's an inspiration to everyone I think so I think people return for her. We've been training at Tiger Muay Thai and obviously heard of the fitness festival so I came to have a look and oh it's amazing. Sure, what have we not been doing? <laughs> We're burning a lot of calories that's for sure. Dragging tires up and down the beach. Yeah, running upstairs. Just Kessable stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sprinting. Now we went for a swim which is great. Yeah. Dragging tires in the sand. Yeah. I'm so jittery still, like my legs feel like I'm going to collapse. Ten, 10 workout stations, 10 different exercises, 45 second intervals, followed by a 10 second rest period, and we did a couple of rounds of that. So that was, uh, that was the, I guess, the dessert after the main course. <laughs> no, this is pretty tough, but I think I'm coping quite well. That's really the beauty of the place, Everybody's, every workout is your own. You make it your own, and so everybody does what they can and gets the most out of their individual workout experience here. Anybody that's seen this, encourage everybody to come out, check out Tiger Muay Thai, check out Ocean, check out the whole staff, and they're great, and I know you'll have a wonderful workout experience as well. It's a great atmosphere. Just get involved in there. Everyone's friendly, everyone's positive, and it's just a really nice place to be in. And doesn't matter if you're old or young or unfit or fit, you're all together as a bunch and everybody's just doing their thing and doesn't matter where you are at. Well, that's fantastic. I will come back every year. You know, a lot of people when they want to get healthy, a lot of people in the world want to be healthy. That's one of the first things when you talk to them, they say, you know what, I want to be healthy. And they associate that with fat loss. They associate that sometimes with running. So I want to address the realistic um, fundamentals of what fat loss is. And it comes down to lifestyle rather than fitness, rather than working out and things like that. So I think that that misconception needs to be addressed. There's other things like hormones, what's going on inside the body. There's certain secrets, for example, when and what you should do if you do plan to exercise. Maybe actually for some people you should not be exercising and that will help you lose the body fat. And again, I don't want to just talk about body fat, I want to talk about health. So you know, there's a lot of people with diabetic problems, health problems, energy problems, and address those things through that vehicle of what people want, which is to look better and, and feel better. You know, there's, we're, we're busy. Everyone is busy. The world is speeding up and it's hard for people to find a time in their life to slow down. And it's also hard for them to get out of the stress cycle that is constantly around us right now in the 20th, 21st century. 
Um, so the body goes into a stress response and many times this inhibits health goals, it inhibits losing body fat, it inhibits anything to do with performance and I think we need to address how we can not only manage stress but the hidden stress inside the body, how we can address that too. The subject that I'm talking about which is um, the four bodies, the physical body, the emotional body, the mental body and the spiritual body and how to balance, how to use a power that's you know unknown to us, how to bring that power out within ourselves and how to put it into day-to-day -day life, how to put it into everything that we've dreamed about having and doing in our lives. I'm going to be sharing with them the techniques that I've been doing and it works for me and everything. I would say how can they can if they want to feel good how if they're not feeling good how can they uh, they reduce the pain and the suffering to make them feel better and everything mm. and plus the the techniques that I believe uh, works for anyone that have been practicing by healing the physical body the emotional body the mental body everything comes into alignment it's when one of the bodies are out of alignment that we suffer we have sickness so it's finding which body needs that um, nourishment you know, and using it. My name is Tobias Wartinik. I'm from Germany and um, I have a background in um, meditation. I studied for seven years in a Tibetan Buddhist monastery in Switzerland and um, now I'm studying Thai Theravada Buddhism here in Thailand in Phuket. I'll give an introduction to the theory of meditation which means that it's going to be a bit about a theory about meditation and also uh, a practical introduction of how to do it and how meditation benefits us in everyday life. You reach that by constantly practicing. So if you compare good meditation practice with physical exercise, the more you do it, the more regularly you do it, the more fast your muscles grow and good results are right around the corner. But if you practice in a very irregular way, then results will show very slowly. If you don't practice, there will be no results. So it's the same with meditation, really. If you practice consistently, results will show very often and by consistently I mean basically 24-7. The goal is to remain aware and mindful all the time. So not just uh, when we sit down and assume a particular physical posture, the goal is to completely remain aware at all times. My style of yoga combines different styles of classical Hatha Yoga. It is Ashtanga, some things from Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, some principles from Driva Mukti Yoga, from style of Kirendra Brahmachari, uh, some things I take from Ukraine School of Yoga, Andrei Lapa, Andrei Sidersky. Uh, during my lessons, the main part of our practice is training body. And, uh, you will feel more powerful, you will uh, feel healthy. Um, but I like to think about yoga not just uh, asana. It's just a third part of eight steps of yoga. And uh, during my um, classes we sing mantras, we teach how to uh, breathe, breathing and uh, pranayama. The main benefit from my class is uh, it's, uh, to connect uh, your body with your mind and be uh, more use your mindfulness during your normal life, in your daily life.
Zumba is a Latin dance. Inspiration Zumba is a salsa, cumbia, merengue, reggaeton with exercise. It's very fun. The people in one hour have only to dance, to listen to the music and to enjoy the class. I say it's more fun than aerobics. I love the music. I love salsa. I love dancing. It's my first time and I enjoyed it. Uh, yes, it's my first time for in Zamba, so I like it much. It uh, helps to feel. Um, in, I like the, I like the dance in the circle because it uh, we are together. Yeah, and we do things together and it gives power. <laughs> uh, actually, we try uh, sorrow of time, but uh, Edmonton is close by to Serenity, so that's why we would like to join and then uh, we like to dance. And uh, Zumba is kind of like have more fun and some some uh, action that you can use in discotheque actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs>